So you just got the individual multi tracks from your client and you're not really sure how to import that stuff inside of Pro Tools? Keep on watching this video. We on and off without a sound. Uh, whenever I open up, still all your love cannot be found. What's up, everybody? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. You just got your individual multi-tracks from your client. You are ready to import that stuff inside of Pro Tools so you can start mixing, but you're not really sure the best way to do it. Let me go ahead and show you that right now. Here I have a little template that I like to utilize when I'm starting to uh, mix for my clients. I'm gonna bring in the audio, individual audio tracks or multi-tracks. And what I'm gonna do is be able to utilize these templates for my effects and reverbs and delays and all that type of stuff and any parallel compression and things like that, okay? Also, I have a master track so I can be able to monitor the output from my audio interface of everything that's going on in the session. So monitor and stereo left and right. That's why I have my master track in there, okay? So what you wanna go ahead and do is you can either go up here to file and you can go to import audio, okay? Or you can just hold down the shift command I. Shift command I. That's gonna go ahead and import your audio. So then what you wanna do is go ahead and find your actual files from your client. Have your client go ahead and send you the individual multi-tracks or individual wave files of each instrument, each vocal or whatever. Uh, they may be recording this out of Studio One, Ableton Live, uh, Logic, Cakewalk, whatever the software may be. You want to have the individual wave files or multi-tracks so you can have more control and mix in the session in general. Okay, so I had the client go ahead and do that. What you want to do is go ahead and go find that folder, navigate to that folder. We're gonna go to Dear God. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you know exactly what the sample rate and the bit depth is for the session. I recommend that you just match everything as much as possible because there's gonna be a lot of times that if you try to import something and basically the sample rate is off, uh, say if it's at 44.1 and it's recorded at 48 or same thing vice versa or something higher than that 88, uh, you know, or 90, 96 or whatever the case may be. Whatever it is in general, you want to make sure that it matches because if you don't, you may have some issues to where the playback speed doesn't match or it sounds different. Okay, so if it's at 44.1, open it up at 44.1. If, if, it, if it's at 48,000 kilohertz, then go ahead and open it at that. Okay, so what we want to do in this particular situation is click the folder and the files are right here. I want to go ahead and hit command A and that's going to basically copy all these, these files for me. Okay. I just want to add them because it was recorded at 44.1, so I'm going to open it up at 44.1. That's what I created the session at. If you happen not to do that and say you're just doing it fresh from scratch, you just want to go ahead and hit Command N, hit File, Command N, whatever, just hit New, Create a New One. You want to go to Create right here. And instead of creating this from a template, you want to uncheck this. And if we just did it from a blank session, you would just type it in as whatever you want to name it. Make sure that the sample rate matches exactly what it is. Okay. And you want to make sure that the bit depth is the same as well. So 24 bit, uh, 44 one works perfectly in this particular situation. And then you would just hit create. Uh, obviously for the wave type, you want to make the file type. You want to make sure that it's wave. Uh, that's how quality wave files is going to work perfectly in this situation. And you just go ahead and hit create. All right. I don't have to do it because I already did it, but we, now what you want to do is just import those files by doing shift command I. Okay. And then I want to navigate to that folder downloads, dear God files. And I just want to hit command a It's going to highlight all those files. All you want to do is just hit add. Boom. All those files are now added. Okay. Now all you need to do in this particular case is hit open and you want to go ahead and utilize new tracks so they can all have their own individual new tracks. And as you can see, it's creating those tracks. Boom. And there it is. Now I can just drag my tracks all the way up to the top. And now I can go through and everything should be there now. Okay. Everything is there. And that's how you want to import your audio tracks. 
and everything should be playing just fine. Now I can go through individually and start naming stuff. So wherever my lead vocals are, I can just find like my lead vocals. Boom, know where my lead vocals are, whatever my instrumentation is. And then I can basically color code everything from instrumentation to vocals to background vocals, whatever the case may be. And that's pretty much how you go ahead and import your multi tracks to get ready to start mixing inside of Pro Tools. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy this video? Do you think that this will help you next time you try to get ready to start mixing some multi-track sessions or multi-track files from your client? If so, give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Don't hesitate to share this video with somebody else because I'm pretty sure somebody else can utilize it in the future. People are always asking me questions and I'm always trying to do tutorials to help you guys out. So guys, I really hope that it helped you. Be sure to go check out all my other tutorials and as always, stay tuned for the next video. Hey.